macronutrients refer to the amount of protein, carbohydrates, and fat that you're eating as a percentage of your total daily calories. Depending on what your goals are and how you react to your diet, the ratio of protein, carbs, and fat may differ. For instance, when we're targeting goals like fat loss, we typically go with higher protein, lower carbohydrate diets to help metabolize fat. Or when we're trying to build muscle and put on mass, we typically go with higher carbohydrate and higher protein diets to help build muscle. So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to take your macronutrient prescription in grams of protein, carbs, and fat and translate it into meals on the plate. So let's say you're eating a total daily caloric prescription of 2,500 calories. And of those 2,500 calories, 40% of them are gonna come from protein. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 2,500 times 0.4, which is gonna give us 1,000 calories each day coming from a protein source. Now, of those 2,500, let's say 0.3 or 30% is gonna come from carbohydrates. That's gonna be 750 calories each day coming from carbs. And then finally, the same for fat with about 30% fat with 750 calories coming from fat sources. This is a very typical fat loss ratio type of diet where we have 40% protein, 30% carbs, and 30% fat to help you maximize fat loss. So there's four calories in every gram of protein. So of my 1,000 calories of protein, that's actually gonna to translate to 250 grams of protein per day. There's also four calories in every gram of carbohydrates. So of those 750 calories we're supposed to get from carbs each day, that translates to 187 and a half grams per day. Now there's nine calories in every gram of fat. So of those 750 calories each day we're supposed to get from fat, 83 grams of fat is gonna be our total daily macronutrient target. That's how we come up with those numbers for you with your macronutrient ratios in the total daily grams. But to take it one step farther, now we need to divide it by the number of meals you're supposed to eat each day. So let's say you're typically eating about five meals per day. All we do is we take those numbers and divide them by five. So 250 grams of protein divided by five is gonna be 50 grams of protein in each meal. 187 and a half grams of carbohydrates divided by five is gonna be 37.5 grams of carbs in each meal. And 83.5 grams of fat as your total daily total divided by five is gonna be roughly about 16 grams of fat in each meal. So let's quickly weigh and measure this stuff and create three meals fast and easy that have precision and accuracy. So you can figure out the macronutrient density of your food items based on things like the nutrition facts in the back of the labels. So here I can see in this bag of rice, there's about 70 total grams of carbs in each bag. So when I create these 37 and a half grams of carbs, I'm roughly gonna be taking about a half bag of rice. I know that there's seven grams of protein in every ounce of chicken. Now you can find this information out by looking at the back of the package, or you can look at resources like MyFitnessPal or Nutronics to find that information. And then here at the back of my uh, bag of, uh, I guess these are pecan nuts, which is gonna be my fat source, I can see that in a quarter cup, there's 15 grams of fat. So I already know about how much is gonna go on the plate in each meal. It's gonna look like about seven ounces of chicken, a half bag of rice, and a quarter cup of nuts. Okay, so you're gonna be amazed at how fast you can create multiple meals once you have your protein cooked and your other fuel sources out. So I'm gonna start each meal with about a handful of spinach. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give me some really valuable micronutrients, some good vitamins and minerals, but it's also gonna cover that two and a half grams of carbohydrates that I wasn't getting out of that half bag of rice because it's only gonna be about 35 in that half bag. Um, the calories here are really marginal, so you can put as much as you want in, and there's really no amount that's too much, and it's also, like I said, great for your health because you're getting all of those micronutrients. Now, I'm gonna take my bag of 90 second rice, I'm gonna kind of measure it in my hand, go halfway, and just clip it right in there. Then I'm gonna take the next one. So here, got about 37 and a half grams of carbs. I just need one more half bag. So here I measure it. Okay, it's right about there. Bang. Okay, and I'm in. Now, I take this and I put it on my food scale. It should zero out. I wanna make sure that I have the units in ounces because we're gonna measure ounces of chicken. You gotta tear it out so it goes to zero, and now I can start putting chicken on. Remember, I wanted seven ounces because there's about seven grams of protein in every ounce, so to get to about 50, I'm gonna to have to have a little bit north of seven. So here we go. 
at five, seven point one. All right, one done. Now we just do the next, so the same one. We can just tear it out. There's zero, going back, there we go. 7.1, done. We can do the same thing with the uh, third meal. Now the final thing we wanna do is actually get the fat in. So we're gonna go for a quarter cup of fat, which is gonna be just from this. Keep in mind, there's a little bit of fat in the chicken, so I might not do a full quarter cup, I might just do almost a quarter cup there, like a little bit short, just to pack that on top. Here's the second one, I'm almost up to the top. Yep, there we go. Bam. Two meals, lightning fast, with accurate macronutrients. So, if you were doing this, and let's say you wanted to do a number of meals, you can create meals with the same kind of base. So, you could create the same, um, maybe spinach and rice as a base, and you can create variety by maybe picking a different protein source. Maybe instead of chicken, maybe it's lean ground turkey breast or lean ground bison. Um, to give you a little bit of variety, you can always spice it a little differently. Vegetables have such minimal caloric value that sometimes you might find yourself putting some peppers on top just to give it a little different flavor, but it's pretty easy, very systemic, and has accuracy. I recommend that you try to eat as much of the same things each day for that precision and accuracy so that you can be consistent. And keep in mind, preparing your meals is so important because now you control the variables. You know how much protein, carbs, and fat is going into each meal, and when your body has regularity and normalcy and has that level of consistency on a daily basis, that's when it really has the ability to thrive.